how to show the formula on screen and how to navigate formula. This could be very effective shortcut for the data analysis in Excel. Now when we create any worksheet, there is a huge amount of data. There is a base data and there is derived data. Derived data is one which is derived from the base data. So suppose we have a sheet on which we have huge amount of data in the combination of base data and derived data and we need to understand that how the derived data is obtained. Then we will either be required to go through the each cell and to find that which formula is being used or there is a wonderful shortcut which is available in the Excel to make all the formula in the cell visible on the main screen and to make all the formula which is used in each individual cell to be visible on the main screen so that we can understand that how the formula is been applied and how we are getting the derived value from the base value we can use the shortcut of control plus grave accent now you can see by pressing the control plus grave accent key all the cells are now replaced by the formula which it carries and by seeing the formula and the cell address we can easily identify that which are the derived cell and which are the base cell and how the derivation is taking place so this is one of the method by which we can activate the formula in each cell and can review and do the data analysis so that we understand that how each value is being derived what commands are being used and which input is being taken to get the desired output by simply using the control plus grave accent key the grave accent key is available on the keyboard on the left side of the one key button So let's take another working sheet. Now suppose we want to understand that how we are getting this value on this working sheet. So again we will activate the formula shortcut by pressing the control plus grave accent key. Now you can see each cell is again representing the formula that it carries. And by just seeing the formula we can understand that how we are getting the values. So we can understand that this value we are getting from the above cell and the above value or the schedule c9 value we are getting from the worksheet schedule and the cell address c9 and all the values in the other table we are getting through the vlookup command the sum command and various other functions which we will be understanding in the forthcoming sessions so when we want to understand that how formula is providing us the value in a particular worksheet all we have to do is a use shortcut which is control plus grave accent now let us go to another shortcut which is very effective for data analysis now suppose here 1 january is a base date and 2 january we are getting by adding 1 to the 1 january and 3 january we are getting by adding 1 to the 2 january and so on now suppose we want to understand that how each formula is getting derived from the other formula then all we have to do is to press control plus bracket. So when I press control plus bracket the cell will move to the previous cell from which it is getting derived. So we can see when I am pressing the control plus bracket we are moving in the direction of 1st January because each value in this time period is being derived from the 1st January. And hence we are getting the base value so when we change this first January then the entire values will change the reason being all the values are being derived from this base value and we can get this and understand a particular relation by using the shortcut control plus bracket now suppose how we are getting this budgeted value of 154 lakh let's press control plus bracket so once we press the control plus bracket the cells from which it is getting derived get activated so 154 is the sum of all these values in the budgeted cost and how we are getting a budgeted cost let's again press control plus bracket we are getting this from the assignment resource sheet from the activity name by using the various other function so it 
check the activity name and then takes the budgeted value of that activity. And how we are getting this budgeted cost? If we click on a budgeted cost and then click control plus bracket, we are getting a budgeted cost from this to sell which is getting activated that is budgeted unit and rate. Hence control plus bracket can prove to be a very very effective shortcut for the data analysis in Excel. It can help you to resolve various issues while using or creating a worksheet by getting to the cells from which the particular value has been derived. This can also help us to understand the working which have been done by some other user. So control plus bracket is always a very useful function that we can often use to understand how the particular value is being derived.